guys, I'm back, and this should be the barrel and blade knife of the month for February. So let's see if it is in fact the barrel and blade knife of the month for February. That felt good. I like that. Oh my gosh, it is the barrel and blade knife of the month for February. It's a Baron song. Bear song. Eight. I don't know anything about that. It's heavy. It's a heavy knife. Um, so the MSRP is $182.99. Go find it. See what you guys can do. Bayer Ops made in the USA. We like that. Oh no, it's something I'm totally incapable of using without looking like an idiot. But I know that's going to please a lot of people. Yes, me looking like an idiot, but also that knife. So here's the Bear Ops Bear and Son Certificate of Bear Sunnery. And... Let's see what it has to say. 154 CM clip point blade, skeletonized steel handles, um, removable pocket clip. So now there are some people that are masters of this ballet song wizardry and then there's me who looks like a brain damaged yak in the snow so we're gonna do this nice and slow wow that is that is now that's a knife that's now that's a big ass knife so 154 cm steel excellent steel um not the best steel okay but it's an excellent steel especially when we talk about edc and quite frankly it's been a long time since we've seen any kind of ballet song in any knife subscription right so yeah now i am the kind of person that I, i'm clueless when it comes to these i haven't practiced i'm not good at it deathly afraid I'm going to cut off vital parts of my anatomy. You guys make fun of me for my inability to uh, to do these, and that's fine. So the latch here is spring-loaded, so you know you can just do the squeeze and it releases, and I might put a little KPL in there though just to loosen it up. Um, now I know there are some places uh, who that have, and it does lock open, if you wanted to. There's some places that have some very specific um, laws regarding ballet songs. For some reason, they are illegal. I don't know why. The truth is, I don't think they're any more dangerous or quick to open than uh, a lot of, you know, folders, manual folders that are out there these days. Um, the knife of the month from last month. Like, is that... Is that, any, I mean, is, is the is the ballet song any more weapon-like or, or openable than something like this? Seriously. Um, but it is very, I mean, it's got a very nice shape. Um, it's really well done. Very clean lines. I gotta be honest, like, I, I mean, yeah. Gotta tell you the truth. For somebody that's not a big fan of these kinds of knives, I think this one has a lot of, um, it's like understated, you know? It, it doesn't go out to be really fancy. But it's got a nice classy look to it and you better believe i'm going to do something custom with this in the shop i like the way it feels in my hand even again even though i'm not a belly song guy it it feels good um ah oh. let me let me actually catch the blade on the money that that just slices and cuts love it no resistance whatsoever and pull through. Slight, slight little resistance there, but no real effort required. Um, I think this is really cool, but my opinion on this particular knife doesn't matter. Hang on. Aiden. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you need to come up for this one. Now, the opinion on this knife that actually matters is Aiden's. Hi, everybody. It's me. Back to my knife. Back to my knife. My, and it's my blue knife. It. You it's like it? I like butterfly. I know you do. You want to get your hands on it? Right. Go ahead. It is a butterfly knife. Well, it's got a clip. 
It's got a clip. It's a removable clip. I didn't even know that butterfly knives could have clips. They can if they want. Listen, don't you tell it how to identify. <laughs> I'm not J.K. Rowling. <laughs> I like it. It seems like something that Spy from Team Fortress 2 would use. Okay, I have no idea what that means, but we have the aid and seal of approval, and he's really into these. Uh, he can do, like, tricks and maneuvers and stuff. Um, yeah, definitely. You see, I'm doing the wrong handle, aren't I? Definitely cool knife of the month from Barrel and Blade. Which, by the way, I throw a link in the uh, video description if you want to check out their knife of the month. Um, I think this is one of the cooler ones we've seen from them. And, like, I've, I've liked, I've really liked some of the ones from Barrel and Blade. Um, and there's some that I just really haven't. But even though, again, not a Bally guy, I really, I just, this one speaks to me. I don't, I don't know. Um, I think it's because it's not crazy, you know? Or maybe I just like that it feels real solid in my hand. It's loosening up as I, as I move it around, too. So, um, so don't comment on my complete inability to properly use one. Comment on what you think of this month's knife. I'm trying to get those. It's got some decent grind lines going on, too. But, uh, nice. I like it. I like it. I don't know if this is the kind of thing I would carry around, but I might actually spend the time to learn how to use one. Who knows? What do you guys think? I love the weight on it. I really love the weight on it. What do you guys think? Would you be happy with this month? I'm happy. I think this is money well spent this month. What do you guys think of this month's knife? Please let me know and let's discuss it. And remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome. And I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again real soon. Hopefully with all my fingers. <laughs>